Well, good afternoon. I'm Rick Dancer. Welcome to Any Lab Test Now. And you guys, it's funny, every time I put this out there, you, people come on and they say, that is such a great idea. <laughs> you know, it's like somebody always says something. So we're here. This is their office. This is off of Garfield. And this is Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Hi. So tell people what we're going to do today. Um, so we're going to do a little skit for you guys on somebody coming in and getting an STD test today so that we can um, give an example of how confidential it can be in here and how anonymous you can be. And that's because that's scary for people sometimes. It's scary. It can be embarrassing because you can't explain to a lobby full of people why you're having it, even if it makes sense and it's not embarrassing. It, um, you can't say, oh, by the way, I'm having these tests done, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with me or I didn't cheat on my wife or, you know, whatever reason that people hide their heads. Um, you can't explain that. So they don't like to come in and, and uh, have that conversation in front of people. Okay, so Adam is uh, one of the owners. Come on in, Adam. Yes. So Adam's going to come in, and we're just going to go through the process. Stephanie will kind of talk us through. Adam, thanks for doing this for us. Uh, yeah, I was looking online, and I wanted to uh, have a private consultation with okay. someone. Yeah, let's go on back here in there. Okay. I'll just follow you, Adam. So you guys, so when you come in, if you, you don't have to walk up to the counter and say, hey, I need to have an STD test or anything like that. You can right. just ask to go so in here. So this is on the front counter so that people can see that right away and request a consultation without walking in and saying, you know, hey, and whispering the information. They just look at this and say, oh, private consultation, and we take them back in a different room. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. All right. So this is our private room. So what kind of test were you looking for today? Well, you know, I'm not sure. I um, was in a long-term relationship, and now I'm dating again. And the person that I'm dating... Uh, we decided that we were both going to have background STD tests just to make sure that we're clean. Okay. And so I, I really don't know exactly what to test for or what you guys have to offer. Yeah, perfect. So we have two different panels that we can offer you. We have a comprehensive um, STD panel, which includes HIV, herpes, syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, hepatitis B and C. And then our basic includes all of those but the hepatitis B and C. Okay. Sounds like that might be what you're looking for. Okay, yeah. I, I think that's probably what I'm looking for is just to get it all covered. Now, um, one of the reasons why I came here was because of the confidentiality and anonymous. Like, I, I didn't want to go to my doctor's office because, you know, I know the people there and it seems kind of weird. So how anonymous is it? Yes. So what we can do is we can come up with a code word or a code name. Um, the only thing that we do need is your accurate date of birth. Oh, so, okay, well, then my name is John Smith. Perfect. You can okay. just fill out this paperwork, and then after that, we'll get started. Okay. So um, you don't even have to give your name. You do not have to give your name. Nope, you can come up with a name from left field or a code name like Banana. You just have to know that when you come in here. How important is that to the people that are coming in here? That is super important. We have numerous people that uh, do it that way. And, Stephanie, I want to ask you something. So I think there was just a report out recently that syphilis – is really hot, really up. I think was a syphilis in Lane County. So one of the sexually transmitted, and I think that's what it was. Was it was extremely high. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a service that you people really need to take seriously. Oh, it is for sure. And um, you know, just especially with somebody like this coming in and getting back into the dating game, it's really responsible for people to do. I think we've talked about this before um, with Tinder and all of those dating apps. It's a really great way for people to make sure they're not spreading disease while they're out there meeting new people or having fun or whatever they're doing. So yeah, okay. It's very important, yeah. So now <laughs> what do you do with um, John Smith now? Well, he filled out his paperwork, so we are going to go ahead and go to the blood draw room and get some samples. So how long does this all take? I mean, just like minutes. Oh, yeah. You can be in and out. I mean, there's two different things that you have to do. You have to do a urine collection and a blood collection for this. So, um, But you can be in and out with 10, 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, it's, it's fast. It's easy. And, and once they start the process, even if we had a lobby full of people today, they wouldn't have any idea what he was doing. They might think he's in here getting his you know complete blood count or... So that's how that's why the confidentiality is so important. Yeah, right. And so once they go in the room and talk in private, they have all that that they need to be done. So it doesn't have nothing has to be talked about in front of anybody else. So you guys, again, we're at any lab test now, and they do like eight thousand different tests. So this is everything from how your kidneys are functioning, how your liver functions. Uh, your, you can get your uh, blood sugar tested here. You can get all those tests that you need. I just had to have a bunch of tests for life insurance. Um, 
like I'm going to live a while. <laughs> and they can do all of that stuff right here. And you don't have to have a doctor's appointment, which is, you know, a, a costly thing these days. And we don't take insurance. Well, we do take HSA cards. We take HSA cards. Okay, yes. so they don't take, you say that for me again. We don't take insurance, but we do take HSA cards, which is your health savings account. So if you have, um, if you have a high deductible insurance and you have an HSA card, it, it looks kind of like a Visa card. They can come in here and use that and have any tests that they want. That's what I have. Do you have an HSA card? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, why aren't you in here? Because <laughs> you poke me every time I come in here. <laughs> so is it just one blood, for what, like for a, a normal STD screening, is it just one blood test? Like, so for normal, we usually do two. Okay. And then about a urine sample. Okay, so it's normally two, and then a urine sample as well. Why is this so important, Stephanie? I mean, you, you love the fact that you can do this anonymously, huh? Uh, yeah, I, that, that's the greatest piece that we can offer to people. And like Adam was saying, you know, nobody wants to go into their doctor and have these tests done um, because you have to, you feel like you have to explain why you're having them done. Right. And you can come in here and there's no explanation needed whether, you know, whether you are in a, a like kind of a predicament and you have to have it tested or if you're just doing things to, you know, uh, for yourself that are keeping you safe like you don't have to explain anything to anybody and like Adam was saying before you go into your doctor and you see the nurses you see all the time you see you know the receptionists you see and they all know what you're having done and it can be a little embarrassing and it can be a little invasive and you can walk in here and not another soul needs to know what you're doing or why which is nice medical privacy okay yeah. perfect all right so this is the last step of our comprehensive uh, panel just need about 15 milliliters of a urine sample once you're done you can put it in the cubby behind the toilet oh, okay I'll be right out. and what's what's awesome about our new location about the, the urine part of it My is goodness. so <laughs> the Good. customers that come in to do the urine sample don't have to come back out holding their own sample they can literally just put it in that cubby and we can grab it that important well because some people don't want to you know touch their own sample <laughs> or walking around or walk around with it yes yeah. well, I felt that when I came out from the my own office and I had to go pee in the cup and then put it in these little tubes and I was like going yeah. this is kind of weird I'm bringing my urine out to the nurse well, especially if somebody else is in here if there's another customer yeah. in here getting their blood drawn and you because our, our old location we didn't have that and so you'd walk out and holding your urine and people would look at you and it's just weird Smith with a code word clean. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Adam. Okay. Thanks, John. <laughs> yeah. So. And then now, and then, oh, are we still on? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So we'll, we just, we'll finish up our little skit with Adam coming back in and we'll just show you how easy it is to come get your anonymous Oh, results. that's a great idea. Okay. Yeah. So Adam, you're going to come back in. I think this is pretty cool. Um, so now you guys, now we're going to fast forward ahead. Adam's coming. How many days? So it'll take um, two to three days, and we'll call you as soon as the results are in. Okay. So the Adam comes in. Oh, and then, or you can just call yeah. us, too. You don't have to leave your phone number. You can call, okay. stop by anytime. You can call us anytime. Hello, my name is John Smith, and I'm here to pick up my results. Perfect. Do you have your photo ID? No, but the code word was clean. Perfect. There so, you are. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Have a great day. You too. That, that is so easy. Yeah, it is. It's great. Yeah. It's nice. So I, I think that now it's for other kind of tests, do you, do you kind mm -hmm. of give me the pitch of what you guys do? Um, well, we do over 8,000 blood tests. Um, so, so basically mostly anything that you could go into your doctor to get, you can get here. Um, so you can come in here and get your um, complete blood count. You could come in here and get your iron levels tested. Um, you can test for anemia. You can do allergy testing, um, all your cholesterol. If someone has diabetes, you can come in here and get tested for it. So people, yes. and you can also check to keep your blood sugar. I know they do that on their own, but there's stuff yep. you can. And oh, and it's Diabetes Month here. So. Is it? Yeah. So what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. To what me. does? <laughs> every month has, um, hold on, hold on. Disease every month, and November is Diabetes Awareness Month. So, just encouraging people to come in and get their their uh, blood drawn. Yep. Because that can make a huge difference. It yeah. sure can. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you guys again, and they're going to give a. Uh, Series of vitamin B, B, is it B12 or just B shots? B12. B12. So they're going to give away vitamin B12 shots, 
And what does that do for somebody? It uh, gives you energy. Um, <laughs> a rush? Yes, <laughs> it can. It, um, depending on your levels when you come in, some people feel it more than others. Oh, and there's something else that's going on. On December 23rd, let me show you something. Blood drive. Yeah. <clears throat> so talk to me. Okay, so we're doing a blood drive. Um, so the blood mobile will be out in the parking lot here from 10 to 1 on December 23rd. Um, you have to bring your photo ID, but you get a free pint of Hop Valley beer. You get a voucher. You don't serve your beer there. You get a voucher. And then you also get a free B12 shot with us. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Okay, and we'll be here. Yeah, 10 to 1, so Monday, December 23rd. All right, so you guys, that is a chance for you to give blood, get a B12 shot, and also you uh, give a pint, you get a pint. Uh, yeah, exactly. And also you could choose, if you don't want a B12 shot, you could do the relaxed formula, which brings me to another question. You were going to report back to us. I, th uh, I did sleep better that night. Yeah, and what about when you left, you were feeling kind of like I, a it, little it, silly? I was a little, f I was a little bit whatever that feeling is fuzzy mm -hmm. um and it wasn't fuzzy thinking it was just like kind of a euphoric like little it wasn't high i don't know how to describe it i don't want to make it sound creepy and weird mm -hmm. but it just and and it was it was really great i mean i did feel better and i did sleep better and you were night. relaxed mm -hmm. yeah. yeah the rest of the day i mean okay. stuff didn't bother me when people came on and said mean things i didn't care <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. yeah no it was really interesting okay so what would a normal person uh, do like would you do that once a week or how often would you do well that? actually you can do it twice a week to start and then um i think it narrows down to once a week right ladies yep. it, it can if you want but you can do it as much like vitamin b12 you you can't do twice a week um but the relax shot you can um so you guys you should come in and just sit down and talk with you guys about yeah. different things different options for people mm -hmm. because if you're not sleeping if there's things like that that's not working for you they might have something in here that can help you yeah and another thing i wanted to mention when you were asking me about what we do and how we can help people um for instance like if you're on medicaid you know, you get like one test a year that's approved. Like you might get one one time that you can go in and get your lip, lipids checked and all those kinds of things. And people want to check in more than that, but it's not paid for. And a lot of people on Medicaid, you know, their income is, you know, they have to really be careful. Right, right. So they can come in here and get for forty nine dollars get their lipids checked. Um, you can supplement. So we don't. We're not even saying that we want to replace people's health insurance, but we can be a supplemental um, part of their health insurance. Well, see, and for me, what I found too. Oh wait, do you do cortisone shots? No. No. Sorry, no, James. They sorry. don't. Um, one of the things for me, like when there was, you know, my blood sugar on one of mine came mm -hmm. up just at, at the top level, like right at the top. It wasn't over, but it was right there at the top. Mm -hmm. So I thought to myself, okay, that's something I might want to come in here and get checked. Mm -hmm. Like in two months, go, okay, I just want to see where it fluctuates and what it does to make sure I can watch it. Mm -hmm. But I could afford to do that because I don't have to go to the doctor right. and pay the hundred and some dollars for the visit and do the blood test. I could just do the test. Yeah. And so also something like vitamin D, you know, vitamin D is super, super important to- And I was really low when they tested me here and it affects it affects you um, especially here with people have seasonal depression and then you get low, low vitamin D you can really really be in like a state of manic depression um, so you can pop in here and get your vitamin D tested without making an appointment paying your copay going to the doctor convincing your doctor that you need that test you can just come in and do that one test here get your results go to somewhere like evergreen that has great vitamins mean. and um, you know get yourself on some vitamin D. So those are those little check-ins that even if you have insurance, you're like, I don't want to go through the time of no. this. I just want to pop in. I'm not going to go to the doctor to find out I have a vitamin D shortage when I yeah. can do that here. And I found out mine was like four, down to like 40% or something. So did you start taking yeah, vitamin D? Yeah, so I started D? taking vitamin D. And I didn't have to go to the doctor. I didn't have to spend the money doing that. And yeah. I just, you know, went through that process. So, yeah. Steph, thanks. Yeah. All right, you guys, so don't forget the 23rd. Oh, thank you girls oh. too, ladies. There, there they are, look. <laughs> <laughs> there are stars. So um, again, 23rd of, of uh, December, be here, because uh, that's going to be a great time uh, to, to help out and do your thing. Yeah. All right. Yes. Thanks, you guys. Thank Share you. this on your page, because there's other people who need this kind of help with their medical advice.